Hello, my name is John. I thought today maybe I would try a test of glues on foam. So what I have here is a few pieces of foam, um, just regular dowel clad made, uh, the equivalent of pink uh, styrofoam uh, insulation. I think it's called EPS foam. Um, I use this for uh, the KFM steps on my 30 inch wings and for the entire wings on my 44 inch wings. Um, so what I wanted to try is a couple different types of glue and see how each of them works on foam. So to do this little experiment I've decided that I'm going to glue this half and not glue this half. I'll glue the two pieces together. This will give me a little spot to do some some leverage here to pull them apart and hopefully see how well the other side sticks. Now this is just going to be based on my feel of how well they're sticking and I'm going to try three types of foam. I'm going to try the regular stuff that seems to come with just about every model that you order from China. I'm going to try hot glue with my trusty hot glue gun. Alright, here we go. And I'm going to try the equivalent of uh, Gorilla Glue. This is Elmer's Ultimate Glue. It's a polyurethane based glue. You need to use a little bit of water on the foam. This has been my go-to. And I just want to see uh, if I try these three different types of foam, the exact same uh, application area, the same drying time, I'll probably let them, because uh, I think the Gorilla Glue out of these three has the longest drying time, so I'll probably let these uh, dry until tomorrow morning and then do the, uh, the second half uh, test. So here we go. I'm going to start gluing. Here, let me move over so I'm right underneath here. So I'm going to start out. This is the standard model glue that comes with, I don't even know which model this came with, to be honest. It's got a yellowish color to it, so it almost makes me think that it's similar to a Gorilla Glue. Um, although I have no instructions that say to put water on it like you would with a Gorilla Glue, so I'm just going to spread it kind of liberally on this half spread it out. It doesn't smell like a Gorilla Glue, it smells... I don't even know how to describe it. Okay, here we go. I need somewhere to put that down. I'm just going to put these down on, on this. And put those two pieces together. And I'll put something heavy on that. I'll do that... I should do that right away. So I'm going to get three relatively heavy little chunks here to help me out. So put something heavy on that. And that one started. Next I'll do the Gorilla Glue. Now, sorry I keep calling it Gorilla Glue even though it's Elmer's. I'm sure the Elmer's people wouldn't like that very much. And but, so I just added a little bit of water there. thick on that one side and I don't usually do it on both sides with this but today just for consistency I'm going to. I'm just going to rub it around a little bit to spread it out there. Throw it down. So I have to remember, oh no that's not good. Quick emergency, emergency. We don't want that getting all over that surface. That's not what I want on there. Okay, so I've done the Gorilla Glue, and I have done... Wow! That stuff just... You'd think this table wasn't very balanced. I might have to put a clamp on that. Okay, stay. And now the hot glue gun. And, uh, I can get over for this camera. The magic of the hot glue gun in action. Some glue on there. Be a bit of a challenge to get it on both pieces. And again, I'm just putting it on both sides for consistency here. This is turning into a comedy act, isn't it? Somebody's laughing somewhere. Alright. That's enough of this. Once I stop moving around, that should be okay. That there, that there. 
So I will need to remember when I come in tomorrow, maybe I'll just write down on this little piece of foam exactly what each of those is for. So we have the model glue, we have the Gorilla Glue, I'll just leave those. And I'll unplug the hot glue gun. Don't ever do this at home. And I'll put that there, but I'll put it on top of this foam. So there we go. So tomorrow morning I'll come out, I'll check these three out, see how they look, and uh, see which is the strongest. All right, see you then. Good morning. So I've let the three types of glue dry overnight, and now I'm going to test and see how well the pieces of foam are stuck together. I also did one more thing. I, um, as you might remember, <laughs> you probably do remember, because for you it was about 10 seconds ago. Um, when I was gluing the hot glue portion, uh, these other two fell over, and in the time that it took me to uh, put the weights back on top of the Gorilla Glue <clears throat> and the Model Glue, uh, the hot glue may have dried a little bit. I, I'm not sure about that, but I thought, just to give it a fair chance, I just love it when the phone goes off right in the middle of making a video. <laughs> just a second. Um, <clears throat> so just to... Um, to give it another chance, I, I did a second hot glue, just to make sure that I was, I was being fair to it. So let's take these one at a time and test them out. First of all, I'm going to just take the... These have been drying for about 15 hours. So I'll take the weights off of them. We'll try them out one at a time. And So I'm going to try first, I'm going to try the hot glue. So, let's see. Let's try with this camera and see how that works. So you see I'm pulling apart, pulling apart, I'll get it on this angle here, pulling apart. And I'm able to pull pretty hard. So the question is, will the seam come apart or will the foam break first? And there you go. The hot glue held. It held nicely. So I'll, I'll try a little harder to take that piece off afterwards, but you can see you can see it looks uh, it looks pretty good, looks pretty good, pretty solid. So, EPS on EPS, hot glue is definitely a viable option. Okay, so now I'm going to try the model glue. And remember yesterday I was saying that it came out it looked a little bit like Gorilla Glue, and now you can see here that it's it's foamed up a little bit. So maybe I, I don't know if I was supposed to put some water on there or not. Um, it certainly looked like Gorilla Glue, but it smelled a lot stronger, a little bit more like epoxy. Here, let me move that out of the way so you can see this. So, let's try this one. This is the Model Glue. And this, my friends, is why you don't use the glue that came with your model to put it together. Even if it was Gorilla Glue, I guarantee that it, would, uh, it wouldn't have come, across, uh, come apart like that. Um, even without the water. I've, I've used Gorilla Glue without the water before. It just doesn't work 100% as well, but it, you know, you still get 90%. This, that's ridiculous. I mean, the hot glue wins over this uh, model glue that came with your model. Toss this stuff in the garbage. I don't even know what it's good for. Maybe it has a cure time of several days, but for, for EPS foam, you're not going to want to use this stuff. That's too bad. I had, uh, I had high hopes for that. So now for the last one is my uh, current favorite, which is the Gorilla Glue, the polyurethane, the uh, the Elmer's Ultimate Glue, uh, this type of glue. Uh, as you can see, I put a little bit too much on there, so it spewed out the sides. Um, so let's just try and take that apart. There's, I'm, I'm really not anticipating that this is going to come apart. And so we basically get the same result as we did with us. So I, there's no, not even a need for me to go on to this second one, I'm sure. Oh, isn't that interesting? Oh, no, no. Take a close look at this. This, is, this was the second, um, the second hot glue, the second one that I did. 
But if you, if you look at that carefully, the glue itself did not come off. The foam itself came apart. Can, can you see that? The foam itself came apart. So the glue stuck and the foam peeled off. Nice. So hot glue. I'm just going to do my best to pry this apart. There. And we get a similar thing. The foam itself came apart. So you can definitely use hot glue on EPS. And it's going to be good. And as for this Gorilla Glue polyurethane glue. Yeah, that's not coming apart. So, the winners. Polyurethane glue, hot glue. This one, I know it's hard to tell from here. Um, I get the feeling that this one's slightly stronger, but your stuff's not going to come apart with hot glue. So, that's it for today's test. Uh, other types of glue that you could use, just let me go over here that I didn't test today. CA and two part epoxy. Um, these are these are also good glues. I've, I've used two part epoxy on a lot of my foam models. Um, the reason that I didn't go, uh, didn't include these in the test is when I'm gluing um, my wings and stuff, it's usually a pretty large area that you're gluing, and just the, the price for the CA is kind of prohibitive from doing a large area with it, and the two-part epoxy is a bit of a pain to mix up for a large area like that. I, I, that's one thing I like about this Elmer's Ultimate is... Uh, you get a lot of it, uh, it's not terribly expensive, and uh, it covers a large area. Hot glue, same thing. I mean, these glue sticks, I don't know what, I got them at the dollar store, probably 10 for a buck. So, uh, so it's relatively cheap. Alright, thanks for watching.